So, Ron, tell us about this documentary. It's called Rebuilding Paradise. Uh, give us some of the detail on the story. Well, it's, you know, uh, I, I my mother-in-law lived the last five years of her life in Paradise, California. So when that town was devastated by fires in 2018, uh, it was it was shocking, and suddenly, you know, it was personal. I I I I understood the the tragedy of that that loss of that community. I've been enjoying making documentaries, but I've never made one like this serious. Uh, you know, a cinema verte documentary where you you're really just exploring a question, and the question was, can they even rebuild? What what is it going to be like? Uh, immediately, our team at Imagine uh, Documentaries and Nat Geo allowed me and a crew to go and and um, and and experience it firsthand. And this was just as the headlines were dying down and the news crews were leaving, and these people were left uh, to cope with it. And that was really going to be uh, our story. I wasn't sure what the tone of it would be. Ultimately, thanks to them uh, and their tenacity, it's very inspiring. It's dramatic, emotional along the way, but uh, they I think they give us a lot of lessons in how to navigate uh, the world when the rug is pulled out from under you. Wow. Uh, and so do you get the... Uh I don't want to give away uh, for people who haven't seen it. Do you get the answer to the question? Will we see the answer to the question? Can you rebuild paradise? The rebuilding, I mean, it, it, you know, was was begun within that time frame of that year, wow. and uh, and it has continued a little bit ahead of schedule. You know, it's it's uh, wow. it's going. A, a, you know, a long time before it reaches 26,000 people again. Uh, but w water issues, um, uh, you know, have been solved largely. Uh, and again, there's this, the schools are being rebuilt in a state-of-the-art fashion. They're hoping that that's a magnet that will draw new young families uh, to the area. So, you know, the, the problem solving that they demonstrated is pretty remarkable. They set aside personal agendas. They, they you know, they there was no time for politics. They pushed all of that aside and collectively have just worked very hard. And the, I mean, those are the people who our cameras follow. There were so many people who were in a little trouble to begin with. And, you know, a crisis like this just, you know, just unravels their life in a way that they just evaporated. And, you know, our, we couldn't, we couldn't even, you know, find them to interview them again. Uh, but our cameras found those individuals who were going to make that commitment. It wasn't easy. There are a lot of surprising and uh, painful um, twists and turns along the way. And still in following up, you know, there's, there's PTSD involved in something like this. It's not just a matter of, of surviving the crisis and re and saving your life. It's it's it is uh, you know the residue of that. And by the way, guilt. A number of people feel a kind of personal guilt because um, you know the warning signs were there. And the town fire safety council tried to you know uh, enact. Uh, certain regulations and so forth that, you know, were just difficult to put through because they either limited people's freedoms, or, you know, and what they could do with their property or, you know, tax issues. And all these are, you know, they're legitimate questions, but a lot of people were kicking themselves later. Um, you know, so it's, uh, it, it, yeah. there's, there's a lot of emotion that goes around a crisis like this. Well, we can see that story, Rebuilding Paradise. It's out on Friday. All the info about where to watch is on our website. It is so great to see you and uh, you. keep up all the good work year after year. We love your work. I'm, I'm still loving so what we're bad. doing. And thanks, thanks for, uh, for helping. And, and I hope people yeah. check out Rebuilding Paradise. Thank you.